It was a rare attraction for all ages. I think it's really cool and that and that it smells really bad. It's an amazing part of nature is what it is. It's cool to see a whale. One of the ocean's greatest predators, now a spectacle on the sand. I just think they're such amazing animals, mammals, living out there. Uh, I don't know how they do it. It's wild. Over the weekend, this whale washed up onto the beach near Fort Stevens State Park, right next to the Peter Iredale shipwreck. I think it's a good educational experience for people. It's just unusual, you know. You don't see that every day or rarely ever. The first reported as a humpback whale, which is common, seen as about a half dozen humpbacks wash up on the Oregon coast each year. Marine experts later determined this one was different. It was a sperm whale. You can tell by its large jaw, so they have this really big mouth with a um line with a bunch of teeth on it, so it has a very distinct look. Tiffany Booth works at the Seaside Aquarium, which is part of the Marine Mammal Stranding Network, meaning they respond to animals dead or alive along the Oregon coast. They then report their findings to Portland State University. Sunday morning, they remove the whale's lower jaw and teeth. A lot of scientific value can come out of the lower jaw, um, and unfortunately, there are people out there that will kind of come and carve the teeth out. And so it's really important for us to get that whole jaw off as soon as we possibly can. It's a 40 foot long male. They're planning a necropsy later this week to find out why it died, focusing on the large propeller like gash in its side. I don't know, it's just feel bad for animals. There's not a lot of whales left. Um, and so it's, it's always sad when we see one that gets beached. And that's where it will stay as it naturally decomposes. Marine experts encourage people to look, but at a distance. Well, we ask people not to touch. Um, marine mammals can carry diseases that can be transmitted to humans and pets. So it's just a good idea, since especially we don't know exactly what happened to the whale to kind of keep your distance. As people marvel from afar, they're left with a wave of emotions. No, it's not sad. It's great that the public gets to see this. It makes me feel like I want to throw up. I feel awed by, by whales in general. Don't make me start to cry. <laughs> On the coast of Oregon, Blair Best, KGW News.